What's good y'all, I'm back with another FL Studio tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing y'all a super quick way to flip your samples in FL Studio with the playlist. In the last video, I showed y'all how to chop and slice your samples with the Fruity Slicer, get rid of the click and all of that. So without further ado, like, comment what you wanna see next and subscribe, turn on the post notifications. When this video hits 100 likes, I'll drop the chords and melody tutorial that y'all been asking for. So with that being said, let's jump into the sample flip tutorial. So what I have here pulled up is a couple of my own melodies that are available at needthatkit.com in the ravenous sample pack. Comes with wave and midi. So yeah, anyway. I got this heart pulled up. And I got, hold up. And I got these keys pulled up. Pretty much the same melody, but different instruments. Just to really layer. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring each of these into the playlist. Then now what I'm gonna do is usually what a lot of people do when they're trying to flip samples in the playlist is click reverse right there, click reverse on both of these. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this slice tool right here, this little knife, and I'm gonna slice both of the, ah, shit. I'm gonna slice both of these loops. I'm gonna slice them each half bar. So, Since, I'll give you an example. Since this right here, what I have highlighted, hold on. Since this right here, this space right here that I have highlighted would be a full bar, you would want to chop like this. So let me go back to the slice tool. And then you'll see what I'm saying. You're, slice, you're slicing half bars. You're just going to keep doing that till you slice the whole sample then what you're going to do is, and this might take it's not going to take a lot of time but it takes some time just to get it in the right sequence so now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to reverse the sequence like Grab this right here, grab this half bar, put it right there. Just read, redo the whole sequence backwards. I'll do it once again after. I'm gonna do this at least like two times just to show y'all so y'all could see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so now I'm gonna do it for this one too. All I'm doing is just reconstructing this so it's still in the right format, just reverse, if you understand what I'm saying. Almost done. So now you can play that. And what I mean by it's still in the same format is I could clone this, have one that's not reversed. Hold on. And if I laid it over top of what I just reversed and reconstructed, it would still go with it. Like no keys would be let me just play it real quick for you. See what I'm saying? But if I just, if I reversed it and didn't reconstruct it, it would sound like this. Let 
it will be showing the end of that loop or sample at the beginning or playing the end of that loop or sample at the beginning that way when you reverse it in the playlist the beginning of your loop or sample will be at the end so that's why I reconstructed it that way play real quick and what I like to do too is add side chain so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send these to the same mixer channel mixer channel one then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some side chain I'm gonna use kickstart quick chain one fourth Also, what you could do for like breakdowns and stuff like that, gross beat, right click, momentary, half speed, maybe turn the side chain off for that part. Just different little types of techniques for another type of breakdown you could High cut, right quick. Like before the beat drops or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this quick sample flipping tutorial. A lot more sample tutorials on the way. A lot more tutorials, period. So make sure you like this video, make sure you comment what you want to see next, and make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications. And if you're looking for royalty-free samples, you can flip royalty-free loops. Go to needthatkit.com, full of loops, full of samples, full of drums, full of drum breaks, full of drum fills, full of sample chops, everything you need, preset banks, everything you need. So with that being said, I'm out.